Would you be prepared to take on one more trip? What kind of trip, sir? I can't tell you much about it for the present, but it'll be a special one, and you'll command the operation. I'm afraid it would mean putting off your leave. How do you feel about it? All right, sir. Good. It's going to need careful training. What kind of training is it to be, sir? What sort of target? I can't tell you the target yet, but it'll be low flying. You've got to be able to low fly at night until it's second nature. Well, you see, there are um, certain objects in enemy territory that are very big and quite vital to his war effort. They're, they're so big that ordinary bombs won't hurt them. But I've got an idea for a, a special type of bomb. Only it would have to be dropped at very low level. Oh, well, they've told us about low flying. Well, they have. Oh, well, that's something. Now, these are the first dropping tests at the Chesil Beach near Weymouth. Here comes the Wellington. Mutt Summers is the pilot, and I'm working the release gear. Now, in a moment, you'll see the bomb. There it goes. Now, watch. Well, you can see now why this low flying is so important. Each aircraft will only be able to carry one bomb, and it must be dropped from exactly 150 feet at a speed of 240 miles an hour. Above or below that height and speed, and it just doesn't work. Take a chair, won't you? Yes, I'm sorry we're tied so closely, but, well, you see, it's all a question of gravity and mathematics. I'm afraid I'm asking a great deal of you. Do you think you can fly to those limits? Well, it's hard to say offhand. The Altamy does no good at that level, but... Well, they've given me some of the best pilots in the Air Force, so we'll see what we can do. How's the training going? Oh, pretty well, sir. Except for the low flying. Yes, I guess you'd be in trouble over there. It's fairly easy by day, but night flying over water at 150 feet is pretty near impossible. You can't trust your altimeters? Well, not to the limits Mr. Wallace wants. He insists on 150 feet, not a foot below or a foot above. I'd hope we could get over it by practice, but on still nights, when the water's smooth, there's a sort of no-man's land between the dusk and the water. Well, I've got the foundry experts on that. I hope they'll come along with an idea. How are we going to fly to level 150 feet in the dark? That's what I want to know. Maybe if we let the navigator down on the end of a 150-foot wire. When he calls out, we'll know we're too low. No bomb site that works at low level, a bomb that falls to bits, no way of flying at 150 feet, and the raid at all costs in five weeks. Otherwise, everything's marvellous. We've got to go through London, so let's have a darn good dinner, a bottle of wine, a musical with lots of dazzling girls, and, and a night train back. Now hold it now. Fine. 